Hello and welcome to my tutorial on how to make a custom sword. So, lovely red sword in my hand. It's even called Red Sword. We can kill mobs with it. It takes durability. We can even dig our cobwebs and it works on the bamboo too. Just like a normal sword should. Let's get to it. Okay then, so obviously into bridge and if you haven't already, go and check out my item tutorial to get to the point where we're going to be at here, where we basically added the sword in as an item. Okay, and then I'm going to show you the couple of bits we need to change because we're doing a sword and not an item. So make sure you've done that first and then come back. If you've already done that, then let's crack on. So the first thing we want to do is change a couple of things from that item tutorial. The first thing is, up in the description, we actually want to add an object and category. And then we're going to go into here and we're going to go for equipment. And what this is going to allow is for our sword to actually end up in the sword tab along with all the other vanilla swords. So category equipment, that's going to put it into the equipment tab. And then if we come down to creative category, where it says parent and then items, I'm actually gonna delete the parent. I'm then gonna click away and click back on creative category. And then now we can reselect parent. And then in add value, we're gonna actually go for item group dot name dot sword. Okay, so the first category up here in the description, we'll put it in the main equipment tab. And then this now will actually put it in the little, the little sword tab with all the other swords. Okay, the next thing we're going to want to do is our max stack size is currently set to 64 if you've already followed the item tutorial. So we're going to change that to 1. Very much like what we've done if you've watched my tool tutorials as well. So that's set at 1. The creative category is done. The icon should already be done. And sh so should the display name if you followed my item tutorial. So now we need to actually add the components for it being a sword. So the first thing we want to do is in the components tab, we want to go add object and we want to go to hand equipped. And this is going to allow it to actually be held like a sword. So we're going to hold it by the handle and we're going to go into add value and we're going to set that to true. Okay, the next thing we want to do, still in components, is add object and we're going to type in weapon. Okay, and this is going to allow then for a couple of things it's going to allow us to run some um events to add the damage and it should also display the the amount of damage it does so like when you hover over the diamond sword it will show a damage of seven this should enable that so in minecraft weapon we're going to go down and we're going to add all of these three we've got in on hurt entity on not hurt entity and on hit block so let's add them in. So on her entity, we're going to go event. And then in add value, we're going to write DMG for now. And press enter. And we're going to do the same again. We're going to go on her entity event DMG. So the DMG is what we're going to call the event. What happens when this weapon either hurts an entity, doesn't hurt an entity, or it hits a block okay and we will get to the event towards the bottom nearer the end okay so we've got that in place and we will come back to that so back up into components the next thing i want to do is actually add the damage so i'm going to type in damage and we're going to go for the damage not the max damage and we're going to add a value now a diamond sword does seven so i'm going to go for five okay you can obviously put in whatever you want here you could put a hundred and obviously everything would be a one hit kill but that's that's up to you that's the whole point of making these add-ons um the next thing we want to do and this is quite important for the swords is can destroy in creative so any of you that have messed about in creative you've probably noticed that if you've got a sword in your hand and you're chopping away at zombies or whatever you can't destroy blocks it basically avoids you breaking things you didn't mean to so can destroy in creative and we're going to put false okay so then what we also need to do now is add some durability 
So in the components, down to the bottom in add object, we're going to put Minecraft durability, um, and we're going to put max durability, and then in add value is where we set the dur durability. So a diamond sword would be 1,561. And we're going to use that. I'm going to go with that. You can obviously, again, set that as high or as low as you like. Um, the next thing we want to do, so back into components, we want to add a mining speed. Now, by default, vanilla swords actually mine quicker than anything else, other than the specific tool. So obviously, a pickaxe is going to mine stone quicker, right? An axe is going to chop wood quicker. But if you're using the wrong tool or if you're using your hand, the default mining speed is actually one, okay? But swords always dig a little bit faster, even if it's something like dirt or wood or anything like that, and they're actually set at 1.5, okay? So we're going to add that, and that, as I said, that just means... I'd, I'm not 100% sure why this is a thing. It's always been a thing in Minecraft, but yeah, basically, using a sword is always going to be a little bit quicker than using your hand or using the wrong tool, okay? So to carry on, we're going to back in components, we are going to add enchant, oh, if I can type it, enchantable, okay? And this is going to enable us to add our own, well, the vanilla enchants, okay? So sharpness, smite, and all of that. So we've got slot, and we're going to go for sword. So that will use, there we go, look, sword. That will then use all of the sword enchantments, as I say, like sharpness, smite, fire aspect, all of that. And then the next thing we want to do is go for value, okay? And what this is, is basically sort of like the luck factor to it. So normally gold has the best um, enchantability to it. Diamond is, let me just check, it's actually 10. So we'll go with that. We'll go with the same enchantability as diamond. So the higher this number is, the better the enchantments are going to be and obviously the lower so like a wooden sword for instance that's probably valued at something like one okay so that's the enchantable part added and then lastly what i want to add is another component and if you guys have followed my tool tutorials already you would have seen this one used and it's going to be minecraft digger and the reason we're going to add this is because in vanilla Minecraft, a sword will actually chop a cobweb a lot quicker than anything else, okay? Other than shears, maybe, actually. Shears, shears obviously, will drop the cobweb for you, but normally a sword is the way to go for getting rid of cobwebs, and they actually work quicker on bamboo as well. So in Digger, we're going to add object. We're going to click Use Efficiency, and we're going to actually click that to false because rightfully our sword shouldn't have efficiency okay because it's a sword efficiency isn't one of the enchantments it can go on every other tool but it can't go on a sword so we're going to put that to false and then we're going to come back in and we're going to click on dig okay we're going to add an event and we're going to use the same event we were using up in the weapon component okay so we're going to use that dmg now, obviously, you can call this event whatever you want, okay? You could have called it damage, you could have written it out properly, you could write durability, whatever you want. As long as when we get to the event part, you're you're using the same name, then everything will work fine. Um, so we've got our efficiency at full, so we've got dig because we're going to add the event to damage the sword. And then we need to add destroy speeds. So back down to add object, we're going to go destroy speeds, and then we click add object we're going to get this zero come up because destroy speeds we can actually add more than one block so we're going to add individual blocks here so i've added the zero i'm going to go back to add object and here we've got a few different things a couple you're going to recognize and some you might not so firstly we're going to go block okay then i'm going to go i'm not going to use add object and tags i'm actually going to go over to the add value side in the middle here click that and I'm going to type in, uh, it's not cobweb, is it? It's a web. It's just web. Okay. So Minecraft web, while we're still in this zero here, we're going to go into speed. 
and the speed is let me just double check it's 15 okay so normal swords use a speed of 15 to chop through a web the next thing we want is on dig and again we're going to use that event we're going to call that damage to match everything else and then lastly back onto the zero add object use efficiency and again we're going to set that to false okay so this digger part it's gonna it says here use efficiency false on dig we've already set the event but here we're specifying certain blocks and if for instance you are digging a web we want to make sure that you can't use the efficiency and that damage event is going to be called okay so into destroy speeds again we're going to click on one and we're going to add this time we're going to add bamboo okay so we've got bamboo and bamboo sapling this is for the actual bamboo itself the idea behind this and i'm going to make an assumption here is that a machete is good at digging through bamboo you think people going through the forest with their machete chopping bamboo chopping them plants um so that's the thought process behind this i believe and we're going to carry on we're going to do the speed we're going to set this to 10 and I, and this is literally copying if i come over here at the vanilla packs okay we're going to go bp we're going to go items and if i scroll down to the d section for diamond sword okay i'm going to open this up we've got components and you can see here digger use efficiency false destroy speeds and you can see here block web speed 15 block bamboo speed 10 so i'm i'm basically sticking with the vanilla speeds on that you will notice that this looks a little bit barer than what we're using and that is because at the moment the durability part of custom swords isn't working so we're having to add a few bits but i'm i'm digressing a little bit okay so back into our sword with our bamboo we've still got to add the on dig event and we're going to call that damage again and we also want to add the efficiency so hold on click back on the one use efficiency and we're going to go false okay so now that i'm just checking my notes that right there should be it so we've set the stack size to one we've sorted out the creative category our icon and display name is obviously carried over from the fact that we created it as an item to begin with hand equipped so it holds like a sword weapon because it's a weapon okay and we want the damage displaying how much damage is it going to do this is an extra the can destroy and creative because we don't want to break blocks with it by accident we've got our durability we've got our mining speeds we can enchant it and we've got the digger for those certain blocks which is the web and the bamboo now the last thing we want to do is at the very top here we want minecraft item and then down to add object and events so this now every time we've typed event and we've put that dmg in this is now where we're going to actually specify what that is so i'm going to write in dmg press enter and we've now created that event called damage so whenever this is called so we look at digger we've got on dig event damage and that will then run this event okay but at the moment we haven't got anything in there so what we want to do is while we've got damage selected this dmg i'm going to go add object and we are going to scroll down to damage okay we're then going to add object and we're going to go for type so this is the type of damage and even though it makes no sense we're going to click none okay the type is none because it's not lava damage it's not fatal damage it's not anything like that we're just going to leave it as none and this will work we're going to go for amount add value and we're going to go for one so every time damage is called upon the type of damage is none the amount is one and we need to specify the target and the target is going to be itself if you click holder that will actually hurt the person holding it okay so you as a player but we're going to go self and then you can see here this is now all set up um, and i'm going to go control s and i'm actually going to jump into minecraft 
I'm going to create a new world. And the reason I'm going to create the world with you is because I just want to remind you that when we activate the pack, so custom swords, active, okay, the resource pack carries over, that's all good, multiplayer off. But the main thing, when we go into game, because we have a custom item, we do need to go down to holiday creator features and turn that on, okay? I'm also going to set the world type as flat. That will put me into creative. And let's go create. Here we are. Brand new world. The pack should be active. And I'm going to, just to make sure that all these tabs are working, we're going to click on the sword tab, the equipment. So you can see here it says equipment on the right. I'm going to click on the swords tab. And you can see here we have a lovely new red sword with plus five attack damage. And that's working great. And what I'm also going to do is let's grab some cobweb. Ah, so it is called cobweb in the game. There was my confusion. Let's grab some bamboo. And I'm actually going to grab a little bit of bone meal. Just to lend that bamboo isn't going to be a bamboo shoot. So, let's pop some cobwebs down. Let's pop some bamboo down. We'll grow some of this. Look. I didn't mean to do that at all. And while we're in creative still, let's have a look. So you can see here, I can't break blocks, right? I'm going to go over. I'm not going to hit the sheep yet, actually. What I'm going to do is go game mode, survival. And we can test it on this sheep. There you go. You can see that the, the durability bar has gone down a little bit. We're going to use it on the cobwebs. There you go. Lovely and quick. If I have nothing in my hand, you can see that takes forever. Okay, so just like a normal sword. And then, so the bamboo, it takes a little while to punch it by hand. Yet, yeah, we have the sword. Lovely and quick. And that right there is sword complete. If you want to make your sword even better i will have a video coming out to make elemental swords where we're going to add some effects to the sword so make sure you check that out and i hope you did find this video useful if you did hit that like button on the way out and until next time take care stay cool bye bye